Experiment 3. Make your own mini water butt. Have you ever heard of a water butt? These can be easily made from an old plastic bottle and hung anywhere to collect rainwater, which can then be used to water plants and flowers in the garden. We're going to show you how to make your own. In this experiment, you will need a large plastic milk bottle. Remember to remove the label and wash it out. Scissors, garden twine, paint, felt-tip pens, PVA glue, and any other craft materials you'd like to use to decorate your mini water butt. Step 1. Use the scissors and carefully cut off the base of the milk bottle. You may need an adult to help you with this. Step 2. Use your craft materials to decorate your mini water butt and make it unique. You could write water waste information on it if you like, or patterns and stickers will work well too. Step 3. Choose a good spot in your garden where the mini water butt will be able to collect lots of water. You could do this at home or at school. Follow your teacher's instructions. Step 4. When you've picked a spot, tie the mini water butt into place. Fence posts work well. You can wrap your twine around the fence and the milk bottle handle. Make sure it's really secure, as your mini water butt could get very heavy. Step 5. When you're ready to use the water, you could leave the butt where it is and unscrew the lid to fill up a watering can, or loosen the water butt and use it as a watering can itself. Are you wondering why we might use a water butt in our garden? Discuss this with your classmates and family. What do you know about the water cycle? Think about all of your water tracker training. That's right! It's to help you save water. If you collect water when it rains for the plants or the garden, you will use less water from the pipes, helping protect our water supply and ensure there's enough water to go around. Next up, Try another experiment or continue exploring the rest of Water Tracker House.